Welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. Guys, I hope that thumbnail pissed you off. Okay, guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you 10 reasons, uh, times two, 10 reasons why you, you need to get rid of the gas lawnmower, period. Okay, so what you're seeing is what's gonna actually happen. You're gonna be throwing that gas lawnmower in the trash can or selling it for five or $10 after I tell you the 10 reasons why you need to go ahead and get rid of it. Let's start with reason number one. Okay, you fanatics. Reason number one is, you already know what it is, guys. It's the gas. It's gas. With the price of gas going up, nothing is going to beat battery. Battery, you simply plug it up, charge it, and go. If you stay in the state of California, say goodbye to those gas lawnmowers coming up soon. Now guys, anytime you get totally pissed off and you wanna hit go in the comments, go in the comments hard. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make this fun. Just like my last video, I am about to give away some money. 20 bucks to the first person that get 20 likes on their comment. You gotta leave a comment, you gotta be a subscriber, and you gotta leave your cash app tag. You gotta do those three things, guys. Okay, number two. On the gas, you have to change the oil. Some of them need oil filters. They all need air filters. On the battery, you don't have an oil filter. You don't have an air filter. So I just gave you two reasons. Now, like I said, if you're real pissed off, go in the comments, guys. Go in the comments and tear me apart. Let me know why I think, or you think you should keep gas and not battery. Let's go to number three. Okay guys, number three is the weight. These gas lawnmowers, they do weigh a little bit more than some of your electrical lawnmowers or battery lawnmowers. Now when I say electrical battery guys, if you got a battery lawnmower or you got a lawnmower with a cord on it, put that in the trash can also because everything is going to battery. Those outweigh battery lawnmowers battery lawnmowers are normally a whole lot lighter okay number four although it's trivial it's a minor most of these battery lawnmowers are coming out with headlights on them, all right the gas mowers you're not getting headlights most of the time on the smaller lawnmowers like this now somebody's going to go in the comments and say oh those headlights they don't do anything you are absolutely right in a sense but sometimes they do shine a little brighter and give you a little bit more time in cutting. Plus, when you have lights on your lawnmower, do you know how cool you look cutting grass at night? Okay, y'all, for next look, number five, and I'm gonna show you this, and this is for some, the older gas lawnmowers do not have this feature on here. Now, this feature is called a fold and storage. You're gonna have some gas models that do have it. You're gonna have a lot of electric mower mowers that have it also if you're buying a lawnmower right now 2020 and beyond and if it does not have this feature on it don't buy it guys and i'm going to show you what fold and store is you simply have they have levers on the handlebars you simply just fold them down all right i'm gonna stand this up by the handle and i could store this in the garage I can even store this in the house. If you watch my um, Toro video where I first got that Toro Flex, you'll see why I actually took that lawnmower and kept it in the house for a while because it's batteries. Now with this gas lawnmower, even if it had the fold and storage feature, you can't store this in real tight humidity places where it's super hot because you risk the chance of an explosion if you don't get the gas <clears throat> and oil and stuff out of it just in case something happens. So that's one of the advantages of having the battery lawnmower versus the gas. Now guys, at this point, you should be highly pissed off if you got a, uh, uh, not battery, if you got a gas lawnmower and you should be in the comments like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. But re remember this, and I always say this, if you have not used a battery lawnmower and you're claiming that it's not better than gas, how do you know? I have five, uh, six battery lawnmowers, and I would not trade them any day for a gas lawnmower of the same K. 
caliber. You have to experience them both before you start making off the wall comments about gas is better than battery. Now, in a sense, I'm gonna tell you why gas may be better than battery, but I'm gonna save that for the end of the video so you can think or hope that you got a champion on your side for gas, but I'm all about the battery. Now guys, I wanna hit you with this right here. This is number six right here. And it's, it's kind of controversial, but it is what it is. When you got these gas lawnmowers, a lot of times you cannot turn them on their side depending on what side the carburetor is on. Now on this model right here, I know I could flip it towards me. And that's the only way I could flip it when I want to change the blades or just do some minor work under the deck. Because if I flip it the other way, all the gas, the gas tank is on that side and the carburetor is on that side and I, it may flood the engine. Let me show you. Okay, so if I want to work on this lawnmower, it's only, 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 it's on the only side that I can get it on. What's up, chips and guac? It's the only side that I can get it on right there. You see that, guys? So I can't flip it on the other side, but let me show you what you can do with the battery mold. So you saw it in its stow position, all right? Now this is on one side. Nothing's going to happen to it. Check this out. It's completely upside down. Can't do that with a gas lawnmower, guys, now. It's gonna be somebody to go in the comments with that nonsense. Yes, you can. You can flip it upside down, BYD. You can, but more than likely you're gonna flood it out or it's gonna start leaking. You don't have that issue with this right here. Okay, number seven, S-E-V-E-N. One of the major differences is this also, guys. If I wanna go and cut my mama yard and I don't have a pickup truck and I gotta put this in my car, which one would you prefer to put in your car? On the back seat. Now, I could, I, you, please don't go with that. Oh, well, you could just put some cardboard boxes down. Or, you can, but when you risk the chance of spilling gas or oil in the back seat of your car, that, or gas, that smell is not going to go away. With the battery lawnmower, Simply do the same thing you was gonna try to do with the gas, cardboard down, paper towels, regular towel, tissue, I don't know, that brown paper stuff, and put it in there and you don't have to worry about anything leaking, no smells, anything like that. Take the battery out and you can make sure that it does not activate. Okay guys, now this is number eight and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be on the gas people side. Somebody's gonna go in the comments and say that the gas lawnmower can cut through thick grass better than an electric lawnmower. Guys, you are absolutely correct about that. But let me tell you where you made your mistake at. Now, people that generally make that comment, they, they don't cut their grass on a normal basis. All right, and, and you can see this is Bermuda grass. Look how low it is right there. Look how, get low, get low, get, you see that guys? To the window! <laughs> it's real low. So with an electric lawnmower, if you're mowing your lawn, like you should on a regular basis, once or twice a week, you're not gonna run into that issue. Now BYD, I don't wanna hear that crap because sometimes the rain gets you and it just gets away from me. My, it got away from me last year. But, but there's something you can do about that. It's called PGR, Plant Growth Regulator. I'm gonna use T-Nex this season. What that does is slow the growth, the vertical growth rate of your grass, and it helps it spray it. Another advantage of getting battery, let me show you this. <coughs> they have a battery in it, right? Now normally these batteries right here are interchangeable with the accessories that come with it. Let me show you. All right, guys, so one of the things is this green machine right here. Fairly new to the market. Really not as expensive as some of the other ones. Well built, guys. I've used all of this right here, and I plan on doing videos on them all. The only thing that green machine is lacking so far is the stick edger. But having said that, these batteries work with the lawnmower. They work with the hedge trimmer. They work with the uh, blower. They work with the string trimmer and they work with the chainsaw. Okay guys, and that's it right there. That's nine things, nine reasons why you need to go ahead and get battery over gas. Now number 10, I'm gonna let you put number 10 in the comments for you battery lovers like me, for you gas lovers. I want you to destroy me in the comments and tell me, I don't know what I'm talking about. Explain to me why I sh should stay with gas. And 
like I said, the first person that gets 20 likes on their comments, you gotta leave a comment, gotta leave a comment, gotta like the video, you have to be a subscriber. And if you get 20 likes, I'm cash apping you 20 bucks as soon as I can. So guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit that subscription button. Every time BYD uploads a video, you'll be notified by YouTube. And once again, guys, you are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll battery with you soon.